The Cha Carbon Fiber Tripod from Chameleon. Let's grab a hold of one and get a look at it today on HOA Ham. Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4 BMG. Chameleon did send this to me for my use and review and so that I could share it with you. Let's go ahead and get me off the screen and let's talk about this new tripod system. The end of the video will be talking about gear that is not Chameleon branded, but which works well with the Chameleon tripod. The middle of the video will be Backyard Portable talking about how we use this gear with Chameleon products. But for now, let's talk about the specific Chameleon kit. We're all familiar with tripods, so let's not waste too much time talking about the obvious. The bag has a slot in here, a zippered pouch that you can use to put the Allen wrenches in and the Allen wrenches would be in case you need to tighten up any of the hardware on the tripod itself. So let's get that out of the way. And then this comes with a three eighths and a one quarter inch adapter. And that's really how we use this to get to our three eighths by 24 gear. This is three eighths by 24. This is one quarter by, I don't know, typical for camera tripod gear. The head itself on the tripod, this screw, this stud actually has a sleeve. Look at that. It goes from three eighths down to one quarter. So when you want to attach your adapter, you take the one quarter and you just screw it down over top of the stud and it pushes that three eighths thread down into the, the unit. That three eighths thread is not three eighths by 24. It's something that's pretty close to M10. And that's what I'll show you with some of the non-chameleon gear. So what do we have on this tripod system that's worthy of being pointed out? Well, obviously what we have is something that's very small and compact, fits in the palm of the hand, and it ratchets out to multiple locations. You pull this engagement tab and it will go to different places on the leg itself and then it will lock into place and you can lock it almost flat. So this will almost lie flat on the ground. As a matter of fact, when we go backyard portable, this will disappear in my ground. I have St. Augustine grass and even after you cut it, it's still six inches deep. So this is going to disappear in the backyard once we take it there. So the other thing that you would want to know about this is that the feet themselves could be replaced if for some reason you need to put sharp studs in this to dig it into the ground, you could do that. And the legs are expandable. You remove the leg, pull it out of its slot, tighten down on the polymer nut, and then you have the leg fully extended. Now do realize when you use this, some people don't realize this with a tripod, is that you can put this on uneven surfaces. For example, what I mean by that, if you get onto a small hill and you want to even this out, you can ratchet one leg out independent of the other and have it at a different angle. And then you can put all three legs at different lengths. These can be used on small inclines and you could still have any antenna that is completely vertical. This is a carbon fiber mask. This is a machined billet aluminum top to this, all very good quality. I think that about covers it now for the basics of the tripod itself. The newly introduced Cha PRV portable resonant vertical antenna system is the perfect companion for the new carbon fiber tripod. For those of you who own the PRV system, I'll leave some bonus content for you at the end of this video. I'm a freak about having gear protected and this coil is just a magnificent piece of gear. It not only functions incredible, it's beautiful to hold and to look at. So I believe in protecting everything and keeping everything in cases so that it's readily available when I want to use it. So again, bonus content at the end of the video, I'll show you where to pick this up. Of course, I'm putting the puck on the bottom of the coil. Why would you ever operate without a puck these days for radials? It's just so simple to do. I'm also going to be using the extender rods on top top of the tripod. These are, I believe, about 12 inches long, and this lets you get your coil elevated off the ground. You could put the coil right in the tripod on the bottom. You might have to play with your radial systems to get it resonant. This is intended to be elevated from a tripod and in the ground on a ground spike when you want to keep it low. So all we're doing is attaching our coil to the tripod. We'll get our 
the antenna here attached in a second. We'll go ahead and extend it up. I purposely have not removed the wind noise today. I want you to see how windy it is here at the HOA so you know this tripod is keeping antennas up. Let's talk about something now that you may not immediately think of, and that would be, how about an F-Loop 3.0? If you're going to go operate outdoor with your F-Loop, any magnetic loop, the chameleon in particular has a quarter inch thread on the bottom of the control box and therefore it easily attaches to that quarter inch stud on the top of the tripod. So using this with a magnetic loop just makes all the sense in the world. Now, a magnetic loop like the F-Loop 3.0 has a very stable base. So as long as you don't have any significant wind outside, you wouldn't necessarily need a tripod. But if you need something more stable or you want to get it off the ground and you don't have a table to set it on, then the tripod is a great option. Here you can see I'm using my solid radiator with my F-Loop 2.0. 2.0 and the tripod does a fantastic job of keeping this on the table very steady. Okay, both of us know why you're still watching this video. You want to see if I'm going to be brave enough to put an SS17 on top of that. Of course, we all knew I was going to do this, but first let's get our puck on the Cha Hybrid Micro. We'll get that onto the tripod and then we'll put the SS17 up in the air. The entire Wolf River Coil business model is built off of long telescoping antennas on top of tripods. We're used to this. We know how to do this safely. Good grief, these are carbon fiber legs. Put some weight on them if you need to, to hold them down to be safe. Just operate safe. It's windy here in the HOA today. Look at the flag blowing on my portamast. If I didn't put some weight in this to hold it down, it would blow over today. So I would never leave it unintended and I would not set it up in a way where it could cause anybody harm. You can do this safely. I prefer gear that is multi-purpose or interchangeable. In other words, we can use it with various antenna systems. I've got lots of antennas. So it's great to now have a tripod that I can use with my chameleon gear and some other gear. We're gonna talk about the BD7 Maple attachment systems, the G-Gable radio antenna system. Good grief, let's bring in a Wolf River coil and why not a super antenna? So one of the first things I talked about early on the channel is this ground spike system from BD7 Maple. It does have a ground spike and then it has this connector that goes onto it, which is UHF on both ends. So UHF for your coax and UHF for your antenna. That's strange to a lot of us here in the States for HF, but you know, we very quickly talked about how you just use an adapter to get to your 3 8 by 24. Well, what you can do with the Chameleon tripod is this stud, even though it's 3 8 uh, and it's not metric. I believe this is probably M10 metric. It's a little bit of a loose fit, but it does attach. And so now what I have with my chameleon system is the ability to take part of my BD7 Maple ground spike kit and use it with the chameleon tripod out backyard portable or at the local park for poda or soda or wherever I wanna operate. And then when I have that UHF top, you all have seen this on my channel. It's this G Gable radio coil antenna which has a UHF connector and then it has this telescoping whip. This is rather fragile but it's really small as well. It's something I like for really tiny go bags. So that's one system to use and then at my request because you asked for it BD7 Maple developed this same type of connector only it is a 3 8 by 24 top. So now all of a sudden, anything that is 3 8 by 24, I have the ability to go from uh, the antenna and get my RF through this UHF connector out to my HF rig. So now we have all kinds of versatility. And then you could use, again, a alternate from G Gable that has a 3 8 by 24, same antenna system with the same telescoping whip, just a different connector at the bottom, 3 8 by 24 instead of the UHF. Well, good grief, once we get to this point, well, why not bring a super antenna to the party? Let's get this set up correctly. And if you've used the super antenna, you know that it comes with an extension rod and then it has a 3 8 by 24 on the other end. 
And this then also is a coil antenna system that you can use with this chameleon tripod. How about Wolf River Coil? We all are very familiar with our Wolf River Coil systems. I prefer the Mini. It's one of my favorite uh, coil antenna systems to use. And now all of a sudden I have a Wolf River coil sitting on top of a BD7 maple attachment system held off the ground or on the ground by my chameleon carbon fiber tripod. I'm currently working on a bag within a bag within a bag on my chameleon antenna systems. Because so much of their gear is interchangeable, I'm just inspired to kind of consolidate into one master kit. But here's the basic kit for my CHA PRV, and this straps into place with Velcro. This PRV is covered by a a strange little piece of cloth. It's rectangular and it goes over odd objects. If you wrap it correctly and then just strap the uh, elastic band over top of it, it perfectly protects it because we can't always find the precise size bag for gear like this. And this is what I stumbled upon. There's a lot of gear out there for photography that transfers over to ham radio. And that's what we have here. And then this goes back into the kit itself. You do see that the telescoping whip is off to the side. It's the single item that doesn't quite fit in here lengthwise. It just sticks out a little bit. Each one of the uh, slots here is elastic banded, and that's where I keep the ground stakes, the ground spike, and the two pieces of the rod that allows you to elevate the PRV off the ground. Get this strapped back in. Everything just folds up really nice and compact. We'll put the Velcro on it, and even though that telescoping whip isn't fastened, it does not come out of here. It works perfect. So many antennas to play with, such great propagation we have today, and so little time to really take advantage of it all. What a great time to be an amateur radio operator. Hope you found this useful friend. Talk to you soon, 73.